The racing realm is open. We're back with this spitty wheel thing again. Let's go. Um, I don't know if anyone saw the last one, but we're randomizing what sort of vehicles I use for accelerators as well as the realm. So we're just going to spin this away and see what we get. Something good, I hope. What is this? Showstopper. All right, all right. Showstopper's cool. Showstopper's cool. I can jive with that. And what realm? I hope we get a relatively easy one, not something dumb. Reactor realm. I can live with reactor realm. Let's do it. Finding the realms is the hard part. This is seriously one of my favorite, like, early 2000s, late 90s Hot Wheels cars. It's just such a cool car. Um, I'm really disappointed in Mattel for changing the name of it though. Like, see a tuna? Ugh, how lame. Ugh. Alright, and now I don't get to see that beautiful bright yellow. It's just black. It does handle quite nicely. Right, we're going to watch that engine HP on this one. We would hate to put it in the acid. Is acid the word we want to go with here? I should have taken. Alright, we have killed it. Engine is okay. We're going to take the high ground this time. Um, that was entirely on me. It was just poor performance on my part. I'd love to get drifty with it. I'm just I'm not comfortable enough for this car or this track to be doing stuff like that. So the advantage of taking the upper path is obviously you can just you can use all the track, which is really nice. Uh, that lower path does not have that nice advantage to it. Plus, I feel like it's actually wider up here anyway. It probably is a longer section of track though, knowing how these things go, and that section's riskier for a reason. You know, that was on my that was on me. I checked my engine HP for a second. Ah, rough. That's the worst is you watch that engine HP. Um, I think I'd rather just because the clipping doesn't always line up, sometimes you check it worried just like you know did that count as clipping it um, I feel like we're gonna just we're gonna take the risky way here try and save ourselves some time we're just gonna take it a little easier than we you know did last time we need to keep our eyes off the engine HP because you just don't have time to take your eyes off the road on this track Oh, and it's just, it's so much going on that, like, the contrast is insane on this track. It is so hard to see what's going on, uh, which obviously, you know, that's part of, you know, the track has it and everything is that bright contrast on the dark colors makes it just impossible to see most of the time. So I do, I do really like the appeal of it. It's just, it gets a bit like warped right there's nothing wrong with warp per se but oh it is awful to look at for a long time It 
It sounds so nice. Oh. I do really like the sound of this car. I just, I got too excited, I was going too fast, and that's entirely on me. Um, it's rough, right? Uh, and it's not an issue with the car, it's purely on me. I'm just making errors, and it's mostly because I'm just, I'm getting too eager, I feel. I'm going too fast. Going faster than I'm comfortable with, with this car and this track. Um, but, oh well. It's a bit like that sometimes, isn't it? You just, you like the car, you like the track, you like the game, so you just go for it. I got, I've got to, like, start slowing down a lot here. Oh, Don't touch the radioactive waste. Do not drive in green goo. See, this section I can go a bit faster. And then, you have to slow down there because I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm actually surprised they didn't give these techie jets. They have for some cars, just almost randomly. They're not even techie jets. They're wave rippers jets. This way is probably the fastest way again because it takes you down near all the acid and whatnot. I cannot see. No! Car! Car! Engine! Alright, we're... We're gonna call this a DNF. Um, I'm like seven minutes in and unfortunately this one's beat me. And I feel like it's, it's fair that sometimes I won't complete these. Um, mix things up a bit, keep some excitement. And I feel like a dead engine is more than enough to say that I've failed. Um, I could easily just quit or add more engine HP, but it's just, it's not overly fair, like, to what I'm doing, you know, what I'm doing is sort of like a challenge, can I do it? Clearly not. I think for other ones I'll also call it if I, like, run out of Nitrox or something and then have to reset with no Nitrox, then, you know, obviously that's not very good either, but, oh well, I gave it a shot, um... And it wasn't that the track was too hard, it wasn't that the car wasn't any good. Both were great, and it was purely on me. I just kept making poor decisions. 